Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for Twice by Bill Murphy. This was the guys for February 6th, 2024. And this is a double arrow Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have these clues that are like arrows, but without the arrow part. Um, instead of a circle with a line containing an arrow at the end, we have a circle with a line containing another circle at the end. And instead of the one circle being the sum of the digits on the line, the sum of the two circles is the sum of the digits on the line. In this particular puzzle, all of the lines are two cells. So in all of these cases, we're going to have two digits in the circles summing to the same thing as two digits on the line. And those are the rules. And we're just going to start on box one and work our way down. Eight and six is 14. There are only two ways to make 14 in two cells when the digits can see each other. That's going to be important to keep in mind. Some of these don't see each other, so we can repeat digits in those cases. But here, these two cells are in the same box. They can't repeat. We can't use 6, 8 because we've already got that in the box, so we have to use 5, 9. Okay, 3 and 3. This is a case of them repeating because they're in different boxes. These threes don't see each other, so that's fine. They sum to six. We can't have two threes in this box, though. We also can't have one five because of the fives that we used here. So we have to have two four, and in fact, the four and the twos disambiguate. Here we again have six, two plus four. We can't have three three again. And we also can't have two four because the cell sees four and two. In multiple ways. Um, so we have one five. There's a five in this box. So that gets disambiguated. Here we have two five. So that's a sum of seven. There are three ways to do that. One of them is one six. That's possible, but it would have to be in this order. Two five is another one, but this cell sees both two and five. So we can't put two five in both of these cells because this one can't be either digit. The same is true for three and four with this cell. So in fact, the only thing we can have is six one. Here we have seven and seven, which is 14. We know the ways that we can make 14 here. Eight and six, five and nine. We have a six in the box. So this has to be five nine in this order. Here we have 12, three plus nine. We can't have 3, 9 again, because this cell sees 3 and 9. We can't have 5, 7 either, because the cell sees 5 and 7. So we could have 8, 4, and that seems like it might be our only possibility, but here we can repeat digits. We can have two sixes, and we can't rule that out quite yet. That might be the answer. I don't remember. Uh, here we have 12 again, and this time we can't have two sixes. We can't have three nine because of the nine in the box. So we can have five. No, we can't have seven because there are actually two sevens looking. So this has to be four eight again in some order. And here we have two and nine, which is 11. There are four ways to make 11 in two cells. One of them is two nine. One of them is three eight, and one of them is four seven. So those are ruled out. We have five six instead. Okay, let's do some Sudoku. So in this box, we still need one, three, and seven. This can't be three, this can't be seven. In this box, we still need one, three, and seven again. This can't be three, this can't be one. And I don't think we can do anything else there yet. Uh, in this box, we need a three, and it's gonna have to be here. We've got threes looking there, and three here, and five already in the cell. So that's our three. We still need two, four, seven, and eight. The seven has to go in the middle. And this is not eight. And this is not two or four, it is eight. And that's going to resolve our 12 clue over here. This does have to be six, six. So that's done. Down here, we need our low digits, one, two, three, four, five. I can see three of them are in the column, so this is three or four. 
three and five here, I mean, this is one, two, or four. One and three means these are two, four, five. That gives us a triple. This is the only place for nine. We could have seen it from these nines. And this is also three or four. So we have a three, four pair. This is not four. These aren't four. Now we have a two, five pair. So this is one. The twos look up here, four and two. These are six and eight. We know the order from the givens. These are four and seven. And we know the order from that four. It's going to rule seven out of that cell. All right, we need six, eight, and nine in this row. There's a six here, so six has to go there. And then an eight, nine pair. These are one, two, and five, but we have two and five here. That gives us one with a two, five pair, but there's a two there. And that one also comes down here to give us a seven. All right, this five, this ambiguity is six and five, and two and five. Uh, here we need 1 and 8. We've got an 8 up here. Here we need 2 and 9, and we... not 2 and 9, 7 and 9. Makes more sense since there's a 2 right there. Uh, we need 3, 6, 7, and 9 here. Three of them are right here, so that's 3. 6 and 7 are here, so that's 9. This is 7, and this is 6. And somehow that doesn't resolve anything else. We still need a 1, 3, 4, 7 here. I don't see a way to resolve that. We still need a 2 here, so that's our 2. The 4 makes this an 8, and a 4, and an 8. Alright, these are 1, 3, 4, and 5. Don't think. That's resolved. We can remove the three and the four. Oh, the three in the box as well. All right, and these are one, four, five, seven, but not five because of this five. So these are one, four, and seven. This one's not four. So unless I'm just being blind, which isn't, I am being blind. There's a nine there. So five, nine. That's not five. So this is five. That 9 comes down here. Uh, the 7 resolves 1 and 3, and I think that was there the whole time. Um, yeah, I'm being blind. That's okay. Uh, 4, 7, 1. 3, 4, 3, 1. The 8 here gives us 9 and 8, and now we're down to the last box. So these are 2, 5, 7. We've got a 5 here, 2, 7. These are 1, 6, and 8. So we have an 8 here, 6 and 1, and then 3, 4, 9, 3, 4, and 9. And that is the solution to twice by Bill Murphy.